Mom, nothing's going on around here. Everything is normal. We need more fruit. Real normal. Ladies and gentlemen, Garfield and friends. Friends are there. To help you get started, to give you a push on your way. Friends are there. To turn you around, get your feet on the ground for a brand new day. They'll pick you up when you're down. Help you swallow Ooh. your pride when something inside's got to break on. Friends are someone you can open up to When you feel like you're ready to flip When you've got the world on your shoulder Friends are there to give you a tip Friends are there when you need them They're even there when you're For a walk in the park, for a shot in the dark Friends are there I don't care But friends will care Hey, you chewing the gum. I hope you brought enough for everybody. Hi, I'm just relaxing after a hard day's nap. I gotta tell you about what happened to Binky. Remember Binky? Sure you do. Binky. That clown who's on TV who's always saying, Hey, kids! Right. That Binky. Well, let me tell you what happened. Cue the flashback. Three weeks ago, Binky was the most popular kid show host on TV. If you think of calling it quits, get some seltzer, give them a script. You can be the life of the gang. Dress your friends in lemon for crying. Binky was a big TV star until one day. All right, Miss Sondheim, send in the clown. Hey, boss, Binky. You've been with the station a long time, and, uh, well, your ratings are down. And we've decided to cancel you. I'm afraid you're through. I'm fired! They told him to take his rubber nose and his size 38 double D shoes and hit the road. <laughs> Binky was upset because, well, he knew there weren't a lot of jobs around for clowns. He even thought of getting into politics, but of course there are too many clowns in Washington already. Binky's fans were stunned. Both of us. The Binky the Clown Show will never be seen again, so that we may bring you an intellectual TV program, Bowling for Meatloaf. Gee, no more Binky. What will I do without a clown in my life? Oh, that's right. I have John. I tripped on that loose floorboard. This whole house is falling apart. I'm going to hire a handyman. I'm getting rid of everything around here that doesn't work. I am not leaving. I hired a handyman through an agency. Let him in when he gets here. I told him to have him fix everything that needs fixing. Let's see, while John's out, should I do tons of grueling yard work, or should I nap and eat a lot? Guess what? Hey, Dad! Aren't you thrilled to see me? No. I'm the handyman who's gonna fix up your house! Note the worried look on the cat's face. I tried to sleep, and when I can't sleep, you know how loud he must be. I was just dozing off. I'm finished! Finished was right. The whole house had been decorated in clown provincial. 
he'd fix John's potted plants. <laughs> he'd even committed the ultimate crime, tampering with the refrigerator. <laughs> the dishwasher I rewired it and it's acting strange like everything else here is normal right John arrived home about then he'd forgotten his key so he rang the bell John took it rather well I thought you, 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 you clown, you, when I get my hands on you. Binky! You Binky! I found you at last! Binky, bowling for meatloaf is a bomb. It's too sophisticated for our audience. You're rehired! I got my show back! The TV station agreed to pay for a real handyman to put our house back the way it was. Excuse me, I have to go start the dishwasher. It looked like we had a happy ending possible until we realized... Start the dishwasher! And that's what happened this morning. How's it going, Binky? Just a few thousand tons more of that! Hey, every house can use a bath once in a while, right? I was milking a cow when a tornado came by. The cow blew away and left me holding the bag. It was an utter disaster. <clears throat> and now I'd like to do a little dance for you. Oh, don't. My earthquake insurance isn't paid up. <laughs> I love it. I am not fat. I have the body of a superb athlete. Well, give it back. You're getting it all stretched out of shape. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> Roy, aren't you supposed to be selling tickets at the door? What? And miss my chance to heckle you, pig nose? <laughs> I'm on a roll. Well, in that case, I won't dance. <laughs> Our next act is the song stylings of those barnyard bookends, Booker and Sheldon. I'm Booker, I'm Sheldon, and here's our hurricane. We love to sing and dance for you, we love to entertain. That's Sheldon, my brother, he lives inside an egg. He doesn't have a hand to shake, but he can shake a leg. That's Booker, my partner, he's the joking sort. You won't have to wait to laugh like him, the jokes are short. <laughs> hey, Sheldon, what do you get when you cross a lasagna-loving cat with a bunch of zany farm animals? You get picked up for another season. Hey, Booker, what has six eyes, green skin, a trunk, and dances a ballet? One of these. <laughs> back 
back out now. Oh, contrary. I am not setting one web and foot on that stage, and neither is Fido. You can't have stage fright. Well, I can't. Ah! There is a stage, and of it I am frightened. Ergo, stage fright. Fido and I will not appear. But wait, that's the coward's way out. Wrong again, Orson. This is the coward's way out. Bye. Well, there goes the animal act. How could things get any worse? I'm Booker. I'm Sheldon. We love to joke and clown, but it's obvious to us it's time to catch the first bus out of town. Here's an empty seat. This year theater's much too crowded. I wish we had more room. That's a light room here. Yeah, come on, Wade. The show must go on. No, it mustn't. Not with Fido and me. People might mock us. Oh. Worsen, they're out front. There is no one out front to be scared of. It's your brother. My brothers? <laughs> this is different. This is family. I can't go out there with them here. We must go. We must go. We must go. We don't send me out we there. Go. You have to. We Show. And it better be funny. Yeah, make us laugh. I want lots of guffaws and howls and some buffo yaks. Ah, uh, well, there were these two horses. Or were they ducks? No, I remember they were horses. And they were uh, looking at the Clotman diamond. And uh, then this sailor from Portugal comes up and... Uh, or was he a vacuum cleaner salesman from Fargo? Uh, what's happening? Orson's trapped in a joke with no way out. Why don't you go out and do your animal act? Fido and I are not performing I and that says, I is don't know. it. Where did the three mountain climbers play the bagpipes? <laughs> That's a right joke. And besides, we heard it. Only with two felt sergeants in a canoe instead. How's it going? Well, either he's bombing, or he's doing a great impression of a salad bar. Well, I'm going someplace with a better view. Maybe Switzerland. You are a chicken, chicken! Ah, look who's talking. I, the most craven of the cravens. Here I stand as my close personal friend Orson is in jeopardy. Could I find the courage to come to his aid? Of course not. Yes, I can! You know what this act needs? Thousand Island dressing? No! I will not allow this one second more! You are bullies! You are nasty swines, you are! I would tell you you aren't fit to eat with pigs, except, of course, that you are pigs. But if you mess with my pal Orson, you will answer to me! Thing I ever heard. Wade, you are a true hero. And to think you were afraid to do your act with Fido. Ironic, is it not? <laughs> <laughs> he said not nice things about us. That's yeah, right. That's right. Yeah. That's there, yeah. Yes, because...
because from now on, at least until next week's show, I am a brave mallard type person. <laughs> oh well, that's showbiz. for my exercise. One. Maybe next year I'll do another one. Hey, Garfield! Normal. What a thrill. Yay! Visit us again soon, like day after never. Oh, you're just jealous, Garfield, because I cute and you're so not. You're not so cute. I am so cute. Watch this. <laughs> oh, Jim, look at that adorable kitten. Carolyn, that is the cutest kitten I've ever seen. Beauty nap. Nope, beauty nap. <sighs> Odie, I'm thinking of something to do to normal, but it's way too rough. Nah, I'll go nap in my bed instead. <laughs> Guess I'm gonna do it, huh? <laughs> Step outside again and let even more people see your unparalleled cuteness. Maybe I will. You're just a sucker for punishment, Garfield. <laughs> Look, Jim, have you ever seen such an uncute kitten in all your life? Oh, they don't come less cute than that one. <laughs> I've peeked. My cute is gone. I was in the springtime of my life. How did winter come so quickly? Let me look in the mirror and see how uncute I now am. You have a whisker out of place, non-cute one. Uh, let me fix it. You need all the help you can get. Gee, I think I'm cute, but, but who am I to go against popular opinion? I'm not fit to be around people. I shall find some place where folks tolerate uncute kittens. Bye. <laughs> he deserved it. Hungry cat. Eat up. Very important. 
breath? Mm, yeah, and so, mm, mm, now you're out here with us, cat. Have some. Mm, that's very generous of you. Hey, this stuff is oh, awful. Now I feel like some after-dinner games. Oh, I love games. How about checkers or gin rummy or mahjong or something? My favorite game is Pound the Kitten. Pound the Kitten? I never heard of Pound the Kitten. How do you play Pound the Kitten? Well, first you find the kitten, then you pound it. Oh. 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 Uh, leave us be anywhere else but here, kitten. I owe it to Odie to do my best to find Nermo, to conduct an exhaustive search. Oh, Nermo. Oh, no sign of him. Guess I can give up and go home. Hey! He went through a boulevard stop and... Did one of those creatures resemble Nermo? Yeah, I was afraid so. Guess that means I have to save him. He wouldn't really pound the kitten, would he? Uh, you don't want to know the answer to that. Mm, we're trapped. Gee, no way out of there. <laughs> now, round one of Pound the Kitten. Huh? I'm sorry, this is a no pounding kittens area. Folks are trying to eat. You're not eating. No, but I'm about to. There's a gourmet feast over on that side of the fence. Hams and yams and jams and even foods that don't rhyme. Pound the kitten, but don't spoil my meal, okay? Bye. Oh, no, you don't. Any feast around here, I'm going to feast on. I ain't had a good feast in years. Hey, I don't see no feast here. Oh, my. What does this sign say? It says City Dog Pound. <laughs> what a silly mistake on my part. Oh, hey, down, boys. Oh, hey, boys, down. Hey, hello, oh, hey. Right if you get work. Garfield, you saved me. And so did my new friend here. Thanks, I think. Look, you want to thank me? Help me get a good meal. I'm famished. Good meal? Huh, that's a cinch. What is it now? Oh, it's a kitten. The cutest kitten in the world. Here's a roast beef for you, cute kitten, and the ham, and mashed potatoes, and chow mein, and a couple of pizzas, and bean soup. Garfield! I got my cute back! I'm adorable again! Yeah. Hey, don't tell anyone I did something nice, okay? I've got an image to maintain. 